in this video I'm going to be testing out my new iridescent watercolours by Daniel Smith. I've got three colours to show you today so I've got iridescent ruby, I've got iridescent blue, electric blue and also iridescent topaz which is a lovely green colour. These are completely brand new and I haven't even tried these, I haven't even opened them yet so I'm looking forward to testing these out today and seeing what colours they produce and also what they do on the paint and how much iridescence is in these paints as well. Um, some of the metallic paints that I've tried in the past have not been iridescent or sparkly enough for me and I've been a bit disappointed so I'm looking forward to actually trying these out. These were not the cheapest paints. I love Daniel Smith colours, they're such good quality. They can sometimes be a little bit pricey but what I do is I just buy a few tubes at a time or one or two tubes when I can afford them and honestly a little goes a long way. These last a really long time. I thought I would paint a flower today. So this is not gonna be a tutorial on how to paint a flower. This is simply just me messing around with my brushes and my paints and having fun showing you these colors. I've made a few other videos on Daniel Smith colors. So I'll link those down below for you to have a look at if you're interested. Let's get stuck straight into this video and I hope you enjoy it. Any of the art supplies that I use in this video, I will link down below for you as well. I thought I would show you how these paints look on their own. So this is the Iridescent Ruby. And straight away, I can see that looks quite dull to be honest to me. It's a lovely color. But to me, that's really dull. I'm going to water it down a bit and see how it comes out. So this is it watered down. I think what we'll do is I'll let that dry and then we'll see then what it looks like dried because I think we're going to get a really good idea by how much iridescence is actually in that paint. To me, it looks more of a dusky rose colour. At first, I just was surprised by how dull that looks, but now I'm looking at it a bit further away. I can see that that's actually a really nice pink colour. This is the electric blue. So, oh my goodness, that's a lovely bright colour. I really like that. I've put quite a bit of water with this, so this is more of a milky consistency, so it's not tea consistency, it's not coffee, I wouldn't say. It's nice and thick. So it's quite a thick consistency, it's got lots of pigment mixed into this. And then this is the Iridescent Topaz, so this is a green colour and it kind of reminds me more of an olive green. It's really lovely actually and straight away I can see that that's got a bit of shine in it so I think this one looks the most iridescent to me for now just as I put it onto the paper but we'll have a good look at these once the paint has dried and we'll be able to compare then. First of all I wanted to find out how these paints work wet into wet so I'm just going to wet the middle of the flower like I said I'm not an expert when it comes to painting flowers and this is also not a tutorial of how to paint a flower so I'm going to be very loose and haphazard with this. I just wanted to test out the colours really so I've got the blue and I'm gonna use the blue in the middle of the flower. So this actually dried because in between starting this tutorial, my friend called over and then my son had to go to school so I had to drop him to school as well. So this is the electric blue and I'm dropping that onto the wet paper and actually that is flowing nicely into that water. That looks lovely actually and I've just got a slightly more thicker consistency now. This is quite thick consistency now, so you can see that I can actually pick that up really well and it, it comes out nice and thick. might drop in a little bit of the ruby and just see what colour that makes mixed with the blue. So it makes a lovely sort of purple colour. It's very muted purple, more like a grey purple. Just by using these three colours you can actually mix them together to make other colours as well. So these paints blend really well into one another. You can see that this paper here is not the most expensive paper. This is just some cheap practice paper that I bought. Although it is watercolour paper, it's not cotton. That paint is sitting lovely on that paper even though it's quite cheap paper. I've got the ruby now and I'm just going to paint some simple petals with the ruby just to show you the colour. Got slightly thicker paint and paint that at the bottom. So you can see that this colour is actually a really nice sort of dusky pink colour. 
the quality on these paints are lovely. I can see straight away how well I can paint with this paint and there's no bleeding. I can see no bleeding whatsoever. And they're very vibrant as well, I notice how lovely and vibrant and thick the paint is. Do you know how sometimes you get the cheaper paints and they're just not as pigmented? This is lovely and pigmented. I've got quite a lot of water mixed into this but it's still very vibrant and bold. You have to ignore my flower painting skills because I am not an expert at painting flowers at all. Can I just ask, if you enjoy this video and you're getting some use out of it, please give me a like. Honestly, that little like helps my channel to grow and it helps me as a small creator. I'm trying my very best as a mum to four children. Also, if you enjoy watercolour painting and you want to learn more, I make lots of tips and hacks videos on this channel. I also do step-by-step -step tutorials where you can follow along with me and I make those videos in real time as well. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos from me. I've got lots of fun stuff coming up. It's something that I'm definitely still working on, especially this technique of painting flowers where you don't put down a sketch first. I do prefer to put down a sketch first when I'm painting flowers. So I've got some thicker paint there, dropping it in just to show you how pigmented this is and how you can pick up thicker paint and drop it in. I'm just turning the paper around now, so you can always do this when you're painting. Turn the paper around so that it feels more comfortable on your hand. I thought what I'd do is water this down quite a lot and show you the colour really watered down. So I've added lots of water to this mix here, so it's very diluted. Then what I'll do is I'll paint a few petals behind just to show you what that colour looks like when it's very muted. So it's a very pale pink colour and as you can see I've put loads of water into this mix but you can still see that colour very vibrantly and I can get some really lovely control with this paint. So that's the iridescent ruby on the petals and then the electric blue in the middle of the flower mixed with a little bit of the ruby afterwards. Now I'm going to try the topaz to show you the topaz. I'm just getting that topaz going because it's dried on my palette. What I'm going to do is do a nice light layer for a stem. So I've got a nice light layer of topaz. And then we might do a little leaf as well. I'll drop in a thicker consistency of the paint on the top of that leaf and let it bleed down. I love this colour. It's such a gorgeous, muted, sort of olive green. It is a beautiful colour. I really like it. There's not many greens in life that I actually like. <laughs> so for me to say that I like this green, then that must mean something. I'm going to try a little bit of the blue into that stem as well and just see what happens. Just add in a little bit of blue. Let it bleed down the one end of the stem. And a bit more of the green just to thicken it up a little bit. So yeah, there is my finished painting. I just wanted to get that down onto paper really, just to show you the different colours. There's not much that I can say about this because I'm not really that careful with knowing all the ins and outs of paint. But can you see that? That's actually caused some granulation on the paper. So this ruby here seems like it's quite a granulating colour. Now I don't know if that's my paper or if it's the paint. I don't really know at the moment how to tell if a colour is granulating or not just by looking at the tube. So if you know where I can find out if it's a granulating colour or not, Honestly, I would love to hear from you because I haven't a clue. I'm having a little look up to the light now, so I've allowed that to dry. And it seems like the topaz has more of a sheen on it than any of the other colours. So the ruby, I can't really see any iridescence in that at all. I'll have a look at my other sheet of paper now that it's dried. And you can see that definitely the topaz, the green, has a nice sheen to it. The electric blue is a little bit shiny and it's very vibrant but it hasn't got any shimmer or anything like that in it. And the ruby has no shimmer in it at all. 
but you can tell that it's not normal paint you can tell that it's got iridescence in it so I love this color this is a beautiful color this electric blue and this topaz is beautiful as well I would say um, my recommendation is I don't know if I would buy this color again it is a gorgeous color but I know you could get a similar pink by mixing other colors in your palette anyway I don't think I would purchase this color again although it's a beautiful color but if you are looking for a color very similar to this then go for it but this is my recommendation personally and this is such a beautiful color this one is probably going to be my favorite blue to be honest it is a very vibrant blue and I love vibrancy in my paintings thank you so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed this video and got some use out of it comment in the comments box below what colors you liked the best in this video and also have you got any of these colors and are there any colours that are your favourite with Daniel Smith? Because I'm quite new to Daniel Smith colours and I'm slowly building up my collection. So I'm always looking for recommendations on the best colours to get. Have a lovely rest of your day. Happy painting and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.